Right, hey guys, Annie Quinter, we're back with a new show, and that is Shameless, which won the wheel. I didn't realise it was 11 seasons, Jesus Christ, Shameless is a long one, isn't it? Um, yeah, no, uh, I know very little about Shameless, I knew Shameless UK was very popular in school, but it was one of those shows I just ignored, because it was technically not the only kids who watched it, so there was always banging on about Shameless, UK okay, version. But I have actually heard, for a change... The US version is actually better than the UK version, so that gives me a bit more hope as well. Normally it's the other way around. But then again, with The Office, I've watched like one or three seasons of Office, and I actually enjoy The Office US more than the UK. The UK, while the UK humour is very sarcastic but <laughs> based, if you ever do, there's a video where they've paired the two, The Office US and Office UK. The Office UK is very like, make fun of Michael, the Michael character, absolutely destroy him, whereas like the US one. They, they give him hope and they absolutely destroy him. Whereas <laughs> they do in the UK, if I remember. Like, he just gets wrecked all the time. But no, I look forward to see what sort of differences. Um, again, this is going to be a very different side of a family. So what what, what is nice about watching this is I'm watching, I'm watching Modern Family at the moment, which is a probably a well-functioning but chaotic family with good intentions. I'm assuming Shameless, they're more of a, as it says, dysfunctional family. So I'm going to see sort of like a... A different, a different side of a family in the US, which is going to be quite fun. Um, but yeah, no, I look forward to jumping to it. I have, I'm going to have sort of high expectations. Like I said, I've heard so many good things about it. it yeah, I hope it is good. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Leave a like, subscribe, and let's jump to this. Three, two, one. And on some poor stray he found, taking him up to his room. Oh, Debbie. <laughs> it's like the Dexter origin story, Jesus. Raises money for UNICEF year round. Some of which she actually turns in. Some of which she turns in. What a hero. Interesting start. <laughs> Look at how. The kid's are the best. <laughs> the one who raises money and then she sometimes donates it. <laughs> it's like, well, what a hero. <laughs> Not a hero, but you know what I mean? It's just funny. How much are we short? $18.30. Oh, I'm tutoring after school. Should we be able to pick in like 10 more? Wait, did uh, Carl put in any? Mm. You're almost nine. <laughs> oh, you're living on the brink. I kind of like this. This is interesting. The, what I actually like about, I know we've only just started it. What I like about this sort of scenario of setup, we all, every single sort of like US TV show or cartoon show, it always shows them in like a, a really nice house. Um, they're always quite well off. In a lot of shows, actually, not even it's not even limited to. We're thinking like even Thai shows and like they will show them what shit. It tends to be really well off people. Are you dash and the everyday stuff? Is it? You know, like the Simpsons. You know, it's like the big house family thing is good. Whereas I, I kind of like it how it's a bit more down to earth and like it looks like just showing stuff like that. As rare as it seems, you never see the electric bills in shows, and the fact they're actually scraping together to get money just shows sort of situation, which is. It's actually quite different from the usual stuff you watch. Like, if we're going off American TV, I mean, class and like all the Disney shows I watch where it was always in that perfectly big house, no roommates. So, what are your first impressions there? Birthmark on his back. It looks like Latvia. <laughs> she actually taking him to show and tell. Fair play. Oh! Wow. Well, you should leave it locked up. It's a life lesson. State of rest oh dear. Uniform motion. Months. Oh dear. Acted upon by an oh dear. <laughs> the mum. Oh. I don't know how the price tag's still there. <laughs> no, I'm glad back tomorrow. I'll put it back on later. I have a tag gun at home. Oh. I work to TJ Maxx. Let's go. Have a... Oh, that's a good cover-up. Can I see what sort of brother relation they have if they're close? Oh. Did he miss? Oh, he missed. He tried. Hey. Hey. Fuck it up, mate. He had an escape route and everything. <laughs> oh. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, quite, you deserve that. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I get maybe if they don't have a stab, that is the rule, but it does seem like a bit of, a, it would be a bit of an ass. I mean, <laughs> to him, it's probably not the last thing. Hey. Hey. Wait, how many of you guys live here? Not me, I'm one down, but the old guy next door died in March, which I guess technically makes us next door neighbors. Wait, so you're a nurse, Veronica? Used to be. Am I a bitch? And she worked housekeeping at Cook County, bedpans and shit sheets. Fine. Because the truth. was offered a place in the nursing school. If I married cast. <laughs> It's Steve, decking down to purgatory to defend my honor. <laughs> my honor. <laughs> yeah, which bouncer? Jimmy Clifton. Jimmy Cliff? Well, Jesus. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, you'll be his third conviction. Huh? Third or fourth? Fourth? Mm. Yeah. Up the wooden hill. Come on. The wooden hill. Shut up. Move, 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 move. Come on. So, wait, where's the dad? <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> Uh, she's lying. <laughs> oh, you just made that up. <laughs> Why do you do that? Your face. How is that even funny? It's not how even funny. How the fuck would I know how much he earned you, twisted dumb prick? That is true. <laughs> God, oh. I just met the guy an hour ago. Tick back, dumb prick. What? Ooh, Ooh triggered. Ah, there he is. <laughs> oh, um. He's leaving there all night. He's never there when I get up. Oh, that's really sad. She does. She does just look after him. Jesus. That's mouth and death. That's a warning. Clean. I should be back in a couple of hours. Ralph won't care. He smoked his lunch again. He won't even know. Hey, she, how many jobs she working? Jesus. Hey, I got so much respect for her. Like, Jesus, take care of the whole family by herself. Working jobs. Jeez. Seems you'll respect her, which is good. What the fuck is this? What's left after I settle out last month's bar tab? Ooh. Better start a new one then. Oh! Fucking get no! Stop buying! Don't buy people drinks. You haven't got money. Oh. Really? Fuck no. Oh. Good. Jesus. Hey, quit pretending you don't even know me. You weren't that drunk. Hey, it's Philip. Hey, it's a dead man walking. Oh dear. Magnesium, sulfur. All right, I'm off to work. Oh, hey, Paul. Where's Karen? Uh, her room, I think. Google Earth for GPS reference on where Isaac Newton was born. Oh, God. Guess what I made for your lunch? <laughs> Cornish game hen with Asian parrot. No. <laughs> oh, Same God. Parrots. No. Kiss, and I'll tell. Find out what I got when I open a damn box, all right? Oh no! Oh no! Karen, honey, I guess I'll see you in the morning. What's she hiding for? What are you hiding? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, you mean it's <laughs>
<laughs> I will kill you. <laughs> uh... It's more likely you two jumped the turnstiles again and he twisted it trying to outrun the transit cops. No, no, always elevate extremities. Look before you give him a fucking embolism. <laughs> you okay, Lip? Please, please. Just to have someone like that next though. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. Go to my house, top of the freezer, yep. two ice packs. Second covered above the sink, yep. liquid ibuprofen, free spray, ace bandages. Sure. Can we get an x ray? Fuck no. You'll be in the ER forever and for what? Submaritazole hematoma. Thanks. Tom. Oh, yeah. Forget in, I forget in America that if, that just always slips my mind that it cost a fucking fortune if they're not insured, which I assume they're it. not. You're your own worst enemy, you two. They say bad things happen in three, they don't. Twos, you two. Insane. You're the guy with literal crown merch. The man actually walking out over this. I learned a lot about his character just from that scene. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, is it? No. Did the guy connect it? Yes. It's working okay. It's not my favorite color. Oh, so you've tried it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Must be so much pressure, like Jesus Christ. She just does it, but Jesus. Great right, Fiona. That's big sister. Good job, Fiona. I don't know how I could do this without you. Thanks for all your hard work. It's my dad's so just a little appreciation can go miles, but you just wouldn't do that on the side looks of it. He's on break. Any second now. <laughs> Fair play. Well, guess character's not always what you expect. I enjoy that. <laughs> a bit more twisty. Brother. Ian? Yeah. Please, no. Right, but, uh, did he pitch a tent? Huh? Did you make him hard? Ever try to play pool with a rogue? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I don't know if that's only got one bit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Do the snacks. Oh, Jesus Christ, Lip. Well, they've got the wrong that shoes on. But, uh, that's not what I expected. Cool. Fair play. Anytime. As long as we get him back. Right. Oh, they were. I guess they got to be when he's got a wife. You must be joking. The shoes, come on, it's a bit obvious. <laughs> Guess I haven't noticed. You're fucking him. It says more about White Sox fans than it does with the rest of them. Hey. 
How old is Ian though? No. Uh, I think they're all asleep. She looks younger than 18. Gotcha. <laughs> Who's been eating my porridge? Hey Dad. This is Steve. <laughs> Oh, no, no, we met. Hey, wow, he's not actually drunk. Here we go. Neighbors of Satan. The day you start paying rent around here, Frank, like the rest of us, you can play whatever shit you want. But if you're going to bump bump this time of night, you're going to pump out the stuff that we like. Okay? This is a, a very unique cast of characters. <laughs> They all got personality, which I'll give. <laughs> Your dad made me follow you up. Gave me a condom. He gave me a condom. Hey, Carl, you see me in? Uh, gone when I woke up. I love how Carl's fit the character to the dance game because we've not seen him much yet, really, apart from like the old bit. I need someone helping out. Debbie's the only person I know who wakes up earlier than I do. And I told her I never eat breakfast, but she said it's her favorite meal. And I thought since it's her birthday. Oh, no, it's not. It's not her birthday. I never said it was. I, I said I wished it was. Oh, right. She said she wished it was. Sorry, Deb. I totally misheard that. Perforated eardrum on the right. Fifteen minutes before school tops. Yeah, Ian, yeah, yeah, yeah. lift. Finish as soon as you're done. Debbie, no, 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 Carl. Mm. <laughs> it was the dad. I was like, is it the dad then? I was like, nah, no, of course it was. <laughs> That was a very that was a very good first episode. No, I really like that. Um that Fiona got a mad respect for her. Um I didn't mind Steve to be fair, like he's never he never seemed too forceful. Um I like the two brothers, I think they got a nice amount of screen time. I think I was glad they didn't try and focus on everyone, just focused on certain characters, um, which was pretty good. But no, the two brothers I like the little good bond at the end. Um yeah, we've definitely got a very diverse cast. I'll give it that. Like, I was, uh, everyone's everyone's favorite feels very different from each other, which I really enjoyed. And then there was little life things like Steve. He's actually mobbed the cars and stuff like that, which you get the over the usual rich boy trying to help, sort of trying to help a poor family sort of thing by having a little days like a car thief. I think that's a good way of doing it. I said, uh, like I said, I really enjoyed the aspect of seeing like a poor family where like, yeah, no, I just enjoyed that. Like, it's a big family. Um, it's not necessarily poor. It's just because there's so many of after and obviously that situation no more but it's just like it's nice to see like you probably might go into a bit more of some of the struggles versus like the usual like in a rich house well off so it's like yeah that was quite nice um gives me skin vibes i think it's like a nice like it gives me like a mix of skins and i don't know what coming what sort of show does it come into a drama or is it like a sitcom i don't want to say it's a sitcom it's like 50 minutes so it's like a whole episode so i just imagine it's just like a normal show really actually what sort of, if the what sort of character arcs the character is gonna go through, especially it does see how he's gonna grow as the show goes on. So so so, so far, it, it, clearly everyone in the family loves him, but yeah, he's got some work to do. We, we don't know everything yet, so I look forward to learning about more about the family. And yeah, no, I thought that was a very good episode one. I think like yeah, I'm not really disappointed with that. I look forward. I actually do want to watch more, so that's a good sign. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the reaction, like that's good. Peace. Thanks for watching the video guys, if you want early access to the next episode, feel free to check out Patreon, Just click the link in the description below or the pinned comment, the video on the left will be playlist, and the video on the right will be a recommended video for you. Thank you so much for watching.